こんにちは、エリックです。So, hello there.、Uh, today, we're gonna continue some adventures in augmented reality enhanced text or print materials for language learning, not just language learning, any type of education. And today, we're gonna be looking at、uh, a design tool and application set called Arasma.、Uh, this came out. Several years ago, and、uh, you can find a nice TED talk that demos this technology.、Uh, you can download the mobile apps on the main page, but if you want to create anything, you'll have to sign up at Arasama Studio, which is at studio.arasama.com. And I'm just going to simply go through a very simple、um, way to get up your first. Uh, augmented reality overlay or、uh, aura, as they're called in this particular tool. And、uh, I'm going to be using a text cover of one of my textbooks, one, one with English. I'm just going to go quickly through, I've already created it, I'm just going to go through it again and show you how I did that. So, here in the、uh, Rasma Studio, we have trigger images. Those are the images that the camera sensor is going to take in. To trigger other overlays. Overlays is what、uh, you put in to be placed on top of trigger images that the camera detects. Channels are the, how you can separate out your different auras, trigger images, and overlays into different sections and have、uh, different、uh, categories, as it were, for your augmented reality materials. Auras is when you put them all together. You got your overlay, your trigger images inside a channel, and that becomes an aura. And、uh, that when, when、uh, someone opens up the app,、uh, they see they, the camera senses that aura, it'll use that trigger image, display that overlay, and that overlay may have some behaviors、uh, to it as well. So let's see here. I started up a couple of channels, but for this one,、uh, like I showed you earlier, my textbook,、uh, one with English. Started the channel here. You just go here to add. And I added the information already. I'm just going to double click on there. Didn't add a description. You can add that if you want. You can make it public or private. And、uh, if it's public or private, you can still share it out via link. And、uh, I used、uh, the same cover image. Now you got your channel. And you'll create, you'll put in a trigger image. And I uploaded the cover PNG of the image of the cover of my textbook. You can add a new one there too. Let's see, I just uploaded it, gives a preview. You can、uh, have some other options in here to、uh, change opacity and things like that. So now that's the image that the camera sensor is going to detect. To put in an overlay, and that's your next step. So, what do you want to overlay on top of that、uh, image in the real world that the camera detects? You could, it could be a video, it could be a 3D uh, model. Uh, Arasma, as far as the,、uh, some of the other、uh, AR tools out right now, it's very good in the fact that it's good for teachers and because a lot of the aspects are free. But、uh, you'll, you're still limited to a few things you can do with overlays, as far as like images and web overlays and things like that. So I have the cover here, the image overlay. You can add it, of course, there. But what I did, some of the things here, just gave it a name. It's an image, so it detects that image and overlays the same image on top of it. But we're going to do something with that a little later, and I'll show you what, what I mean by that. So it detects. The trigger image, which is the same image, it's going to overlay the same image. So it sees that it could be a poster, it could be the cover of my actual book, and it's going to overlay a digital image of the same picture on top of it. And then what you do is you go to orders and you put them together. Cover to course, that's what I call this one. So I have the overlay, which is the image. Of the, of the、uh, 
Basically, they're the same image. It's going to detect the image and overlay the same image. But I'm give it, I gave it some properties. So when it's a double tap, that image becomes a um, full screen on the on the smartphone. But when it's double tapped, it's take it takes you to the um, course website that uh, that goes along with the materials in the book. So when it the it's going to detect the image, overlay the digital image, and when you touch that digital image, it'll send you off to the website, the course website, which I put in here. It's a uh, learning togetherlearning.com one with english this is a sandbox put together for my courses so there it is there so what that looks like after you have it all in and ready i'm going to bring this up here so here is you can actually you can't see my hand here uh, because the image is overlaid on top of the actual textbook so my textbook is sitting on the table here with my hand on top of it so this is looking at it through the phone so and then i'll click on it and then it sends me to the same website there so you started with the channel and you put in a trigger over image to uh, have the camera sensor detect you've created an overlay to display over that trigger image and you put that together with some actions in an aura last thing you do is uh, share it out with whoever you want to share it out with in my, in my case the students so you go to your channel there and you uh, open it up and it has a link to subscribe and you basically just email that out and that at that link if clicked on by a smartphone will automatically open the app and subscribe you to that channel and therefore all the auras that you've created in that channel will now be available to that uh, smartphone with the Aurama application loaded. So that's Arasama in a nutshell. We're going to be going through this deeper and have a few talks more online coming soon. So if you'd like to see more about augmented reality, go check out uh, my website there, or you can just click like or subscribe to see more videos coming out about this stuff very soon. All right. Thanks a lot. See you guys later. Meow, meow, meow.